Hello, hello, friendly reminder that you should start saving your orbs from now on. We're gonna get three more banners this year and potentially some rerun banners as well, like CN and Roca, for an example, or maybe other characters, you know. Uh, next banner that we're gonna have is gonna be on December 16th, the Christmas banner that we usually have. We don't know the units yet, but, you know, considering the fact that they have never skipped Christmas before, I mean, there is like a high chance that we're gonna get a Christmas banner this year as well. These units can be super potion characters, droplet increase, normal pots, stuff like that. Valuable characters overall. December 25, pool selection, right? One of the best banner uh, this year getting released. All of us voted on the characters that are got in there. Anniversary units, potion characters, droplet characters, insane units, you know, seasonals, stuff like that. Really good characters overall. Gigantic banner again. And end of the year, right? End of the year, December 31, uh, that's gonna be a gigantic banner as well. A lot of people are predicting thousand year blood for Retsu Kenpachi fight. Uh, it can happen as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna be Spirits are forever with you, Beyond Bonkai, right? Toshiro, Gain, stuff like that, you know, the vibes from Kaname, Sajin, whatever, something like that. Uh, it can be original as well, you know, like a new design of Ichigo or like something like that. Or it could be like a triple Ichigo banner, as like many of y'all are saying as well. It can be anything, you know, but the highest chance for the banner is gonna be Thousand Year Blood War, of course. So if you want to summon on these banners, definitely start saving your orbs from now on. I would suggest saving at least your tickets, you know, your summoning tickets. And the reason why is because those are gonna be orb resources, right? Those are gonna be orb resources in the future whenever you want to summon, right? Let's just say, for example, you're gonna go insanely hard on the pool selection until the pool selection is not coming out save your tickets and on the day when the selection comes out use all of your tickets and that's gonna be orb resources right depending of course how much characters you have in the game and how lucky you can be right those tickets can be orb resources i just started to save my tickets as well like five days ago i started farming i was at zero and we're gonna we're gonna stack them up right and uh, the main reason why you want to save the tickets until you're summoning in a banner is to not use all of your orbs up is to not use all of your resources up stuff like that if you know what i mean and um that way you can maximize the chances as well to get better characters more characters in general not better my but more characters because you're gonna have more tickets right next thing orb farming right maybe you're new to the game stuff like that right sub stories story mode easy to do but it's time consuming right you need a lot of time to clear these out even though they are are easy right they are gonna be slow to clear however it gives you a lot of orbs uh exchange shops right exchange shop always should be cleared having some fun with it right always every single month you need to clear these shops to like stay free to play and stuff like that if you are free to play right if you need these orb resources we have a hundred orbs in the epic raid shop right i did get that out already uh you have 50 orbs in the chronicle quest shop i did exchange that already in the part one you have 125 orbs in arena right Additionally, in Arena, you can farm trophies as well if you haven't completed your milestones, right? In the others, you have orbs in the Metal Exchange Brave Battle Shop, right? Stuff like that. Events should be cleared. Orders should be cleared, in my opinion, right? Of course, only if you have time for it. Sekai Moon Quest is available right now and gonna go away on the 25th, right? Exactly the time when the pool selection drops. So definitely make sure to, like, clear it out, you know, stuff like that over time slowly maybe you have a lot of time in your hands and you can clear it out right now but if you don't you know you can clear these towers out slowly there is still a lot of days until it's gonna go away stuff like that and uh, of course inventory as well you know about the inventory you know like if you have a unit that you haven't maxed out already make sure to max it out to 150 levels stuff like that you know the vibes when only if you need the orbs if you don't need it and you want to save it for the future stuff make sure to do it you know no problems with that they Daily missions, Brave Battle, Guild Quest, and uh, that's about it, you know, like, that's about it, kind of just a short reminder, if you guys know what I mean. As I said before, hey, you know, good luck on the grind, stack your orbs, you know, the vibes, man, a lot of banners are gonna come out, and you need these orbs to be saved up. Clear your stuff, clear your missions, you know, don't worry, over time, they're gonna build up, right? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, man, and, and you know the vibes from wherever you are, have a great day slash night, and I truly hope I will see you the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.